Welcome to Pacific Northwest Outdoors. My name's Chris and I wanted to talk a little bit about sun exposure. When you buy plants from the store or you raise them from seed, usually the back of the packet or the little tag that comes in the plant will say full sun or partial sun or partial shade or something to that effect. But what exactly does that mean? So did a little research on the internet and we all know the internet never lies and the consensus on the internet is that full sun means anywhere from six hours and above of sun per day. Uh, partial sun means three to six hours of sun a day and shade is anything less than three hours of sun per day. So what can you do with that information? You really need to know which parts of your garden or which parts of your yard have full sun versus partial sun. And I'm sure there's very scientific ways to figure that out. Uh, but for me, I figured the best way to do that was to find a nice sunny day, uh, like today. It's not really sunny anymore. It's about almost 8 p.m. But earlier in the day, it was nice and sunny, and I knew it was going to be sunny all day. So I made sure that today was the day that I was going to very unscientifically measure my sun exposure. So basically what I did is I found the various places in my yard that I wanted to do the measurements from or that I wanted to take the measurements from and uh, I just took my iPhone and uh, I went in two hour increments starting at 8 in the morning so I went 8 a.m. 10 a.m. noon 2 4 and 6 and uh, since I was here all day it was a perfect time to do it and I would just stand in approximately the same spot each time and I would take some pictures uh, of the same areas at each of those intervals and I was able to string together uh, sort of a slideshow of how the sun moves and so now I have a record of mid-May what the sun looks like in my yard in these various areas so uh, I'm gonna kick it over to voiceover Chris and I will show you the pictures that I took and the sun exposure that I measured for the various areas in my garden so I had six main areas that I wanted to measure for sun exposure. The first area are these two raised beds right here. So we call this uh, bed one over here with the little hoop house uh, that doesn't have any plastic on it right now. Uh, and then bed two, which is another bed that, um, it's the last bed that I have to weed and plant out in my uh, garden. And if we scroll through, we can actually see what happens to these various areas throughout the day. Okay, so let's look at bed one and bed two. 8 a.m., total shade. Move forward a little bit, boom, 10 a.m. Uh, you'll notice that I put all my plants out here between eight and 10 yesterday. Uh, so 10 a.m., full sun on both beds. So somewhere between eight and 10, uh, we go from full shade to full sun. So I would call that, you know, 9 a.m. would be partial shade, 10 a.m. would be full sun. Uh, and then we get to 12 p.m. We are still full sun on both beds. 2 p.m. We're still full sun on both beds. 4 p.m. Now we're starting to get some shade. So now the sun's gone down far enough. We can see that the trees are shading out this area. And uh, what you'll notice is between 2, so you see the shade starting to creep in over here, and then 4, uh, it's fully creeped in. Um, basically, in about 3 o'clock hour, this bed is still full sun, while this one is now shade, or partial sun. Uh, and then, of course, 6 p.m., we are back to full shade on both of these beds. So, again, let's go through it. 8 a.m., 10, 12, 2, 4, 6. So now, to keep track of this, I use an Excel spreadsheet. So what we can see here is bed one, and these are a little bit different uh, just because of their position in the yard, but shade is gray, part sun is orange, and then sun is yellow. So we can see for bed one, 9 a.m., part sun, and then we've got full sun from 10 till 2, part sun at 3, and then back into shade. Uh, that's six or seven hours of full sun, or six to seven hours of full sun, and so the verdict for the bed as a whole is full sun. Bed two, shade at 8 a.m., partial sun at nine, a lot of sun throughout the day, and then 4 p.m. we get to partial sun and then into shade. So that's seven hours of full sun. The verdict for that bed is full sun. And actually bed two is 
the bed that has the most sun uh, in my yard. And actually, if you look right here, sort of this front area, this also gets really a lot of sun and I'm going to have to eventually get rid of some of these plants. It's a lot of nice flowers and stuff that the previous uh, owner put down, but I'm going to get rid of a good chunk of that and put in another raised bed uh, right in this front area because that gets even more sun than this uh, bed two back here. Okay, so let's look at the next area. Oh, look at this, another couple of raised beds. So these ones have already been planted out. Um, this one actually I should say has been planted out. This is mostly lettuce and onions and kale uh, as well as some spinach that I planted into this bed. This is bed three and then this is bed four. And even though they're very close together, they actually have, as a result of this study, they're actually shown to be a little bit different in terms of the amount of sun that they get. So this one's been weeded. Bed four here has been weeded but not yet planted. Uh, so by doing this sun exposure exercise, I'm helping to determine which plants I'm actually going to put in that bed. So let's take a look through the day. 8 a.m., partial sun as the sun comes up over here. Um, it sort of filters through these trees and they get a little bit of morning sun, partial sun I'd say. 10 a.m., uh, the sun's up a little bit higher but it's still blocked by these trees. This massive tree right behind these beds is a hemlock. Uh, it does actually shade out a good portion of the yard for the, the morning. Oh, there we go, noon. So noon, the sun has crept past the big trees and it's now shining directly down on these beds. 2 p.m., this is kind of interesting. Bed three has what I would call full sun. I mean, it's got a little bit of shading going on, but for the most part, it's still direct sunlight. And then bed four is now in shade. Then we move on to 4 p.m., both beds are now completely full sun again. And then 6 p.m., we sort of switch. So 6 p.m. later in the day, this bed, bed three, is now fully in shade. And then bed four actually has full sun again, late afternoon sun, um, sort of till the sun finally goes down. So let's look at that on the spreadsheet. Here's bed three. 8, 9, 10 a.m. shade, bed 4, 8, 9, 10 a.m. shade, uh, 11 a.m. we get some partial sun, 12 p.m. we get some partial sun, this is bed 3, and then bed 3 has full sun from 1 p.m. till 4 p.m., and then we go back into partly shady and then fully shady. So bed 3 is 4 to 5 hours of partial sun, uh, or 4 to 5 hours of full sun, and the verdict for the bed would be partial sun. Bed 4 same thing, shade, 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 part sun, then full sun, then back to part sun, then we're into shade, part sun again, and then full sun for the rest of the day. So it's interesting that bed four, even though it's right next to bed three, is sort of broken up because around 2 p.m., if we go back to the pictures, we can see that uh, right in here, bed four is shaded out in the middle of the day for a little while. So that's really the only thing preventing these beds from being full sun is the amount of trees around them and sort of the position of the sun, which I think it gets a little bit more full sun as we progress through summer, but uh, at least I know that at this time of the year, this is what it looks like. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This next one is going to be my deck. Um, and this is where I have some herb beds here uh, these are all herbs here, then I've got some strawberries and planters, um, but this is basically um, sort of my morning sun area. So I like the herbs to be out in the morning sun. So 8 a.m., 10 a.m., you can see all of a sudden, boom, we've got full sun in this area. Um, and that's quite a drastic difference between 8 a.m., we see the sun line just coming down here, and then boom, 10 a.m., full sun. Let's look at noon. Okay, so noon it's just about the end of the sun for these plants right at noon. So these are just starting to get shaded out and then we move on 2 p.m. shaded out. I would say 12 to 2 is partial shade and then 4 p.m. of course is full shade again. And I didn't even do a 6 p.m. one for this one since I, I knew it would be full shade. So look at the spreadsheet. Uh, let's see, we got shade, 9 a.m. partial sun, then we've got two hours of full sun and then 12 p.m. we're into partial sun again and then shade the rest of the day. So that's morning sun, which there is a difference between morning and afternoon sun in terms of the intensity on your vegetables. Um, so I just know that this is two to three hours of full sun uh, or partial sun. Two to three hours of full sun, meaning it's a partial sun 
uh, area, and it's a partial morning sun. If that makes any sense. So, okay, so let's go back here. Let's look at another area of the deck. So now this is me standing right by this window here and then pointing the other direction. Uh, this is my dog, Turkey, right here. Uh, so this, these are a couple of just raised cedar beds that I bought um, from a local guy here in, uh, in Oregon. And uh, basically I've got a bunch of kale and lettuce growing in these beds and a little bit of cilantro. This is actually cilantro that bolted. I'm hoping to get some seeds out of. Okay, so this is my garage wall, and we'll see 8 a.m., 10 a.m., we can see that the sun is creeping towards that wall, but it's not quite there yet. Here's noon, and at noon, it's just starting to hit these plants. Okay, so go back, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., noon. Okay, so then noon to 2, we know it's going to be full sun. So there we go, 2 p.m., boom, these things are hit with full sun between 12 and 2, and then we can see the tree shade starting to creep in. So we get into some partial sun uh, between 2 and 4. And then once again, since it's shaded out, I didn't take a 6 p.m. picture here. So we look at the spreadsheet. And we've got shade up until noon. And then we've got full sun, full sun, full sun. And then partially sunny and then shade again after 4 p.m. So 3 to 4 hours of full sun throughout the day. And so the verdict for this area is a partial sun area. Okay, so now the next area is actually standing right about here looking this direction. So looking out from these windows towards uh, the deck or towards the uh, end of the deck. And so we can see here, okay, there we go. I've got some, just some plants that are out here. This is some strawberries. Uh, this is a pepper. And then we've got uh, this cucumber in a pot that's going to be out in the yard at some point, and then some more herbs. And then behind here, these are trees. So this is a, a pear tree. It's actually like four or five different kinds of pears grafted onto one tree. And then this is an apple tree. So it's another area right in the front here where I'd like to start planting if I can, but it would be good to know what I can actually plant there. And the amount of sun that it gets is going to dictate that. So here's 8 a.m., 10 a.m., the trees up higher are starting to get sun. So between 8 and 10, they start to get full sun, which is good. Uh, and then we can see the ground down here, though, in this little area is uh, not quite sunny yet. So then let's get to noon. Of course, noon, the sun's pretty much directly overhead, and we can see that the whole area is getting full sun. And then we move into 2 p.m., and look how fast that goes away. So this thing gets shaded out pretty quickly between noon and 2, and then it's just partial sun filtered through the trees from 2 on. So we can see here's 2 p.m., here's 4 p.m. Um, it's just all filtered sun right through. So we look at the spreadsheet, and we've got shade, partial sun at 9 a.m., then full sun, 10, 11, 12, and then partial sun, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then shade it out after that. So again, this area also partial sun. Finally, we have my greenhouse. If you guys have been watching my beefy greenhouse series, I've got the second video coming out really soon uh, of stuff that I've done to help insulate this greenhouse a little bit better, but it is nice to know how much sun that it gets. So here we go, 8 a.m., uh, fully shade. It gets a little bit of sunlight filtered in. This is sort of the morning sunlight filtering in. Uh, then we go, boom, 10 a.m., look at that, full sun right on this greenhouse. So that's excellent, especially in the wintertime. That's going to be really great. Um, 12 p.m. Oh, it's getting hot. I had to open up the doors on the greenhouse, let some airflow going through there. But 12 p.m., again, full sun. 2 p.m., here we go. Look, so this part of the greenhouse starts getting shaded out. Between 12 and noon, probably around 1.30, 1.15, 1.30 is where we start getting this area shaded. So if you even notice, right here in the greenhouse is where I have lettuce and stuff. So I've got stuff that's not as full sun tolerant on this side of the greenhouse because I already know that that gets shaded out first. And then over here, I've got some peppers and stuff. So, you know, I'm sort of even within the greenhouse, I'm arranging things in such a way that, you know, it the things that need more sun take advantage of more sun over here on this side of the greenhouse. So let's move forward. 4 p.m., very filtered sunlight getting through. Um, you know, so really the rest of the day, 4 p.m., 6 p.m., it's uh, filtered sunlight and shade. So let's go through it one more time. 8 a.m., 10 a.m., full sun, 12, 12 p.m., full sun, 
and then we're starting to get some shade and then it's just filtered uh, sunlight the rest of the day. So again, though, it, it does get a good amount of sun, shade in the morning, partial sun, full sun by 10, sun, 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 that's four hours, and then we're into partial sun, two to four, and then shade it out the rest of the day. So the greenhouse itself could be better. I, the greenhouse I would want to be full sun, and it is actually what I would consider partial sun. So the one thing that I've really determined from this whole exercise is that look at all these partial sun areas I have. And I only have two really areas that are what I would consider full sun, and they're really just barely full sun. I mean, they're six to seven hours uh, or seven hours. So not a lot of full sun areas. And when you factor in the fact that Oregon is pretty often overcast and then also rainy, I need to find more full sun areas. So that's really going to be my goal for next year is to find areas of my property that get full sun, and I have a few ideas already, um, but they get full sun and plant them out. So one of the um, ideas that I have, let me scroll back through my sun here, is right here. So like I said, this, this area right up front, uh, and then also this area over here are very good full sun areas. And I think if I can get some raised beds going there and there, um, that would really help and go a long way towards being able to have some um, you know, some, some better full sun uh, vegetables like peppers and tomatoes in those areas. And I think they would just do better there. Um, also, you'll notice along this fence here, um, this is where I'm going to be planting a lot of my squash and cucumber. It's also kind of a nice full sun area. So I figured I could take advantage of the fence, you know, run cucumbers up the fence, for instance, and then have squash just come out, you know, either side. Um, so it's another full sun area that I can take advantage of. So that's, that's sort of what I'm doing this year is just planting out the beds I have and taking advantage of the space by the fence. So there's a look at the sun exposure from my yard and, uh, and I hope you guys found this uh, to be a valuable exercise. All right, I'm gonna go back to, uh, back to greenhouse, Chris. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the sun exposure for the various parts of my garden. At least now I know where I have full sun versus partial sun or partial shade. And uh, I know that in the middle of May, it's pretty much going to be the same every year. So you only have to do that once and you have record of it all year long. I would probably recommend doing it, you know, maybe two or three times throughout the year so that you get an idea of how the sun moves and, and how those areas change. But uh, for the most part, early spring or mid spring is probably the best time to measure because that's when your plants are really starting to grow and, and uh, starting to get going. So I hope you enjoyed that look and uh, have a great day. Hey everybody, this has been Pacific Northwest Outdoors. My name's Chris, and if you liked the video you just saw, please click the like button, I would really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos, please click subscribe. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and cheers.